Hello again, welcome back. Uh, this is just going to be a qu quick continuation of my last two videos and it's kind of an introduction to how to use GNU plot without actually opening GNU plot. Um, in the last video I generated this this data.dat file that had had the X and Y data that I wanted to plot and what I did was I opened GNU plot and I typed the commands to plot the data in it and you know what I, well I'm gonna just show you if I open GNU plot um, you know I can just plot I can plot the data from my file and that's fine but but you know maybe I want to label the X and Y axis maybe I want a title you know maybe I want to get rid of this uh, legend here uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that outside of GNU plot today. But just real quick, to do it in GNU plot, uh, there's commands that you use, like, uh, you know, set grid will turn a grid on, set title, and I'll just put the function that I used. Or you can set key off, that will turn off the legend. Go ahead and plot this again. So that's nice, but you don't actually want to have to go into uh, GNU plot every time you make data. It would be nice to just have, uh, you know, all your preferences kind of laid out in another file so you can just call on them. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and quit GNU plot. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, so you can see I, uh, well, never mind, I didn't save my file yet. I started a file and I called it style.gnu. I don't think it has to have this extension, uh, .gnu. I just like doing that so I remember what it is. And I'm going to call this a GNU plot style sheet. Um, I don't think that's actually a term, an official term or anything, but it's just going to be a sheet that has all of the properties of my graph that I want. Okay. So rather than opening a new plot and typing all this stuff in, I'm going to write this text file and then send it to GNU plot. And GNU plot's going to do everything inside the text file. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is set the terminal. And this is just kind of uh, what's reading your data and what's plotting it. And I'm going to go ahead and use this first line here that actually got off the GNU plot web page from one of the samples. You know, you can go ahead and look online to see what, you know, all this stuff does. But most of it's pretty self-explanatory. And this should actually all be on one line. Maybe I'm going to lose some of it, but uh, you saw what's over there. Okay. Anyway, so you know this is setting the font. Uh, that 500, 300 over there is the uh, the size of the output. Okay, and the next line I'm going to put is a file name that I want to output, and then I'm going to start setting my graph properties. So I'm going to set the title, and I'll do it the same as I did a second ago. set the X label and I'm just gonna call it time and I call the Y label energy obviously this has nothing to do with the data that I plotted but it's just a sample and turn the grid on turn the legend off and then I'm gonna tell it to plot my data and this lines points means it's going to not just plot points, but it's going to connect them with lines. And line style 6, line color 7, which is black. And all these properties, uh, they're really easy to find in the GNU plot documentation or just, you know, do a Google search. Again, this is just kind of a, 
uh, sh showing how this works thing. It's not an exhaustive tutorial on GNU plot properties. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And now I'm going to go back. All right. And now I've created this text file called style.gnu. So now what I can do is rather than uh, opening GNU plot and then giving it my data uh, file, I can just run this, this style file here. And I'm going to do that by typing GNU plot and then the name of the file. And it's time I have an unrecognized terminal option. That is because I misspelled transparent. And there we go. Okay, Let's go ahead and list again. And as you can see, that created this file plot.png. And let me go ahead and open that here. And this actually looks a lot nicer uh, than it appears. <laughs> uh, it's just my my resolution's kind of small, so I can make these videos small. But it made this nice made this nice little plot here, and you know labeled the x and the y axes. It took the legend off, put a title, changed the font, changed the line style, and all these things. You know you can just set in a style sheet and you know edit the style sheet separately. I like to have Fortran generate the style sheet. That way, if I'm making an animation, I can change the output file so they're numbered or something, so that I can feed them into some encoder later. But that's just a quick introduction to how this works. Uh, it's going to be needed uh, later on uh, if I go over animations. But anyways, thanks for watching, and take care.